Good evening, everyone. May the Force be with you. 2016 Top Star Wars Masterwork. This is break number 13. A random pack break from jazpiecehobbyland.com. Big thank you to, not that blank list right there. Big thank you to, wait for it, those folks right there. John with two spots. Bowman with two spots. They're guaranteed a hit. Now, first of all, we're going to figure out which uh, box we're going to do. So we're going to generate a random number between one and eight. There were eight boxes in the case. Box one, already did it. So let me uh, generate another one. Box four, haven't done it. Let's do it. So I marked box four right there in my chicken scratch. There you go, three more left, that's it. Now what I'm gonna also do, is I'm going to mix up the boxes a little bit too. Just because I think I think they they have the same stuff in 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 every in every box, right? So I feel like uh, I feel like one of those one of those guys that are trying to uh, trying to do those card flipping games right there. All right, so boxes are now mixed up. That's a three. All right, so masterwork. One, two, three, and four. Now, time to randomize. So there we go. Did you Were you keeping track, Bowman? Bowman says box two is the old box one. All right, uh, let's roll the dice. I guess I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not a good grifter, I guess. Two and a two, four times for four people, or for four boxes. One, two, Three and four. There you go. Bowman John, Bowman John. All right, so we'll do Bowman's first. We'll do Bowman box one and three right here. All right. Good luck, Bowman. We've got Ahsoka Tano, nice from the animated series, which which I uh, which I enjoy. I think it's very good. We've got great rivalries. Ah, yes, Darth Sidious and Yoda. That's a classic battle. Nice. We've got BB-8. And Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. And this one has an autograph. Does the box one curse continue or no? Not when there's an autograph on it. Daniel Logan as Bubba Fett. Gets the Battle of Geonosis, 9 out of 10. The Medallion and the Auto, Daniel Logan is Bubba Fett, 9 out of 10. Very nice. All right. There you go. That was box number one for Bowman. Box number three for Bowman is right here. And the, and the other two are for John. All right, we've got BB-8. And then what were the short prints again? Like 55 and higher or something like that? We're sleeving them all up anyway. They're too, too nice not to protect all of them. Alien Identification Guide, Tarful, Wookie. <laughs> it's like, Wookie, oh yeah? <laughs> no kidding. Boba Fett. I think they're doing a standalone movie for Boba Fett too, right? Oh, 50 and higher are, are the short prints. All right, and there's Anakin Skywalker. It gets everywhere. The dust, it gets everywhere. Like, that's his acting. The only thing 
I can do is fix things with, with my hands. Uh, Mercedes, no, as Restal Sant. No, there better not be a standalone Snoodles movie. <laughs> All right, so that's for you, Bowman. Thanks, man. Uh, and John, your next boxes, your next boxes, it's getting late. See, I'm just stumbling over words now. That would be kind of cool, actually. What if there was a, what if there was a Star Wars stand, like once they do Han Solo, they do Rogue One, they'll do the Han Solo movie, then they'll do, uh, then they'll do the Slave, or Slave One, that's the ship. They'll do the Boba Fett movie, and then they'll be like, what else do we do after that? A standalone Snoodles movie, focusing on the entire Cantina band. That, that'd be... There could be a Cantina Band movie. How about that? Do, 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 do. All right, John, these are yours. I think there should be a standalone Cantina Band movie. They're going on tour, all that sort of stuff. Oh, a frame! All right. There's Jabba. Jabba no bother. Right here. The Voice Tatooine Edition. There you go, Bowman. Nice. <laughs> oh, The Voice. And then, like, they hit the button and they all, they spin their chairs around. You know, they're like, oh, my God. You know, it's the Cantina Band. Wow. There's Jabba the Hutt. Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nice. That is a good rivalry. I mean, if you think about it, this this like this card should be changed into greatest rivalry. They've been doing this for like decades. You know what I mean? Like literally. If you think about it, ever since on Mustafar, you know, you were my brother, Anakin. You know, you were supposed to bring balance to the force, not destroy it or whatever that line was. You know, now they're just old men, just like bzz, bzz, bzz. You really see the progression there. Now, I have the high ground. <laughs> that's how he says it. All right. Anyway, that, that's the greatest of, of rivalries. There's Finn. And there's Ray. John, John, you're going to you're going to totally hate me. You're going to totally hate me. I'm sorry. I'm holding the frame till the end. John's like, "What do I have?" Everyone's like, "What do, what does he have?" I'm that guy now. That guy. It's all for the show. It's all for entertainment. That's that's really the. That's really what we're talking about here. There's Chewbacca. Nice. Show of force, Luke. Use the force, Luke. And you're just like, all right. The galaxy in the balance, and you're just gonna close your eyes and shoot off some torpedoes because of the force. I know a lot of you guys are military guys, right? I mean, if you guys are, and I know a lot of military guys listen to our show, and men and women. Imagine if you were in combat and some kid is just like, "Oh yeah, that position that we're supposed to get, right? That we're supposed to supposed to destroy, right? I'm just gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna use the force. You'd freak out. That guy would be court-martialed so fast. All right, there's Ahsoka Tano. And there's Greedo. There you go. I mean, but my impressions are the best, right, though? Right, Bowman? Bowman's like, everyone that's breaking this is doing impressions. It's cracking me up. You know? I mean, but but mine are probably the best. All right. And there's Steve Bloom as Zeb Aurelius. It does kind of grind my gears. I know it's a movie, but let's pretend it's not. <laughs> um, you know? You're just like... It's like, Luke, you know, like, what are you doing? Any, anybody in combat today, any one of our service men and women would just be like, what? You know, some kid walks in to, to like, a, to, to like a, a mission planning meeting. And then it's just like, yeah, well, I can hit it with a torpedo from this X-Wing. We used to hit, we used to sh blast wombats with our T-16s back home. And then you're just like, you used to blast wombats? Like, what kind of psychopath are you, Luke? It's a silver frame, by the way. There's Ray. 
And we've got, nice, 5 out of 10, Nika Fuderman, Asaj Ventress. Nice. The, uh, the Assassin, I believe. 5 out of 10. Nice. There you go. That was your frame, John. Very, very nice. This is this is how you want these random random pack breaks to go. You know what I mean? Like everyone gets something cool. This is very cool. Very nice. There you go. Bowman and John, thank you very much for grabbing a box of Star Wars Masterwork. Appreciate it. The next one box break is in the store right now, folks. We only have three left. Right here. One, two, and three. That's it. So... If you want to do it, let's make it happen. Thanks very much, everyone. We will see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. May the force be with you.